Welcome to Jen's top 10. Okay, so I've shared a lot of different things in the party, but I still have more things I wanna share with you because I know that they could definitely solve some problems for you in the kitchen. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is my spiralizer. This is the thing that if you love to interject more vegetables into your diet, maybe you wanna have zucchini pasta. This is awesome for that because you can actually cut your pasta in three different ways, ribbon cut, spaghetti cut, and fettuccine cut. It's the best one out there because how it works is that you actually put your zucchini or apples or cucumbers or parsnips or carrots or potatoes or sweet potatoes, see what I mean? <laughs> Do a lot. And then you just simply turn it and go down with it rather than the style that's like this the angle like this. So a lot more stable when it's down this way. So that's the veggie spiralizer. Use it all the time. Another great thing for prepping is this knife here. It's called the Santoku knife. I use this knife all the time in my kitchen. It's the first thing I reach for. Um, I love it because of the divots. It allows things to just fly, or not fly off, but come off. They don't stick to the blade. And you can use it for chops and also slices. So you want a good knife that lasts a long time, a lifetime, if this is gonna be the Santoku knife that you're gonna want. The garlic press has been in my kitchen for 20 years. <laughs> I love it because you can put a whole clove of garlic in here without taking the skin off, simply press it through, use the tool that comes with it to scrape it off. And you have fresh garlic that's going to really permeate your dish in a really mellow way. And you're gonna love it. And you can also use it for uh, ginger as well in your kitchen. Some other things that I think you need to know about the microwave popcorn maker. Now this is so easy to store, as you can see it collapses. It's made from silicone, so it's totally safe. All you do is pop this open. You can drizzle a tablespoon of oil in there if you'd like, um, or not. You can do air pop if you like. And then you actually use this little red cup to measure your kernels. You can sprinkle some salt on or seasonings. And then you pop this lid on with this little red cup inside and you put it in the microwave for approximately two minutes and 15 seconds. That's about how my microwave works. It could vary a few seconds on yours, but it is so great because it pops it all up. Then you can throw this in the dishwasher. All that oil doesn't have to get in your sink. And then you collapse it when you are finished working with it. So this is the regular size. There also is a family size. The key is you put it on the outside rim of that plate in your microwave so it doesn't um, get into the center, which it causes it not to pop all the way. So you wanna get the big rotation. Another thing to make a quick and easy snack. The snack bar maker, you're gonna love this one. You can make your own granola bars in here and you can either do baked style or unbaked. So you simply mix up your batter of your granola bar, you press it in to these little spots here and you're gonna find that when you get the set, which I recommend, this comes with it, you can press that right in there so it fits right in there, this little spatula, and then you press that in. If you bake in it, you just pop this in the, in the oven. If you're going to just do an unbaked, you're gonna put the lid on and then you're gonna pop it in the freezer. It's so easy, so healthy. You're gonna love using this and it's very easy to clean up. You can put it in the dishwasher as well. Another quick and easy one, the ceramic egg cooker. Love this because you can put your egg in here, up to four of them actually. You can put veggies, seasonings, meats, cheeses, all kinds of things. Make sure you're whisking up the egg so the egg is, or the yolk is broke. And then you pop this in the microwave. Now for one egg, it's only about 40 seconds. That could become an omelet for you. It could go on a, a little tortilla. It could go on an English muffin, all kinds of things, including oatmeal you can use this for, and even poached eggs. So you have lots of options for that. Another one, I use this all the time as does my son. He uh, loves to make pasta and so do I. So this is called the microwave pasta cooker. You simply fill your pasta in here, quarter cup, half cup, however much you want. And then you cover it with water by about a half inch. And I like the cozy as well. I strongly recommend getting the cozy. You pop this top on and you put it in the microwave for eight minutes and it's gonna be fully cooked. Once you get it out of the microwave, I just fold these two sides over, drain it out, and then you can take this top off and stir in cheese or maybe pesto or spaghetti sauce or whatever you like. Makes it very easy to make a quick meal, whether it's for you, your kids, whoever. It also does fit a whole container of macaroni and cheese out of a box if you like that stuff. Last couple of things. 
the whipped cream maker. If you love those eggs fluffy, if you wanna make homemade whipped cream in about 45 seconds, using heavy cream and um, vanilla and powdered sugar, you put all that in here and you just do this little motion and guess what happens? After 45 seconds, you have homemade whipped cream. It's awesome. But I also use this for making omelets. So like I get my eggs all nice and fluffy with a touch of water and then I just open this and pour it out because this just interjects some air in there. This little bottom piece becomes a top. So if you want to save stuff, you can do that. Put it in the, or in the refrigerator. I think everyone needs a piece of stoneware and this is one of my favorites. This is called the toaster oven pan. I like this because I can put it in the microwave. It's small enough to fit in there. All of our stones do go in the microwave, um, but also it goes in the oven. So for reheating or just a small amount of things, you can use it for all kinds of different things. You can see that mine is pretty dark and they all start really blonde colored. So the darker they are, the better they are because that means that you have developed a non-stick surface um, over the top and that's just from using or cooking different foods on them over time. Last but not least, you guys have talked about the mix and chop, <laughs> otherwise known as the hamburger masher for some people, but it is essential in every kitchen. Um, you have your hamburger cooking and you're just simply going to do this motion and it's gonna crumble it up so fast and so easy. Taco meat, spaghetti meat, ground sausage, all those different kinds of things. But you need the partner too, and this is called the mix and mash. So this is great for mashing up your guacamole, your mashed potatoes, um, whisking in a pan if you have something that you don't want to have scratched with a metal whisk this is a great partner for that so i hope you've enjoyed jen's top 10. i want to know what your favorite thing was that i just shared out of these top 10 things and um, i hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about what what some of these are